So there it is, the season six car. Formula E is back, that was smooth, and so is behind the visor. But who are going to be the drivers this year for Envision Virgin Racing? Who could it possibly be? Here they are, it's the same as last year. It's Robin Franks and Sam Beard, great to have you back. And uh, what's what's with the beard? Do you like it? No, I was working as a lumberjack in, in the off-season, so I've just carried that over. Okay, and here we are, the, the new Season 6 car. Are you both very excited about the Season 6? Looks purple. Yeah, we need <laughs> to get sponsored by Ribena. New race suits. Or Vimto. Yes, the race suits are actually really good. I'm happy with the race suits. They've been white since the start, yeah? I, I think that this is a big improvement and I really dig the new overalls. Great, great, great. Let's move on to some questions then. This is from Natalie to both of you. How are you guys? And how have you been spending the off-season? Have you had any time to relax? I've been growing my facial hair. <laughs> That's all I've been doing. <laughs> I use the beard oil and everything now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, really? Getting into, I'm, I'm quite getting into it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have, you, have you been relaxing, Robin? Uh, not much, actually, to be honest, uh, because when Formula E stopped, DTM continues. And now DTM stops, Formula E continues. It's like a racing version of Michael Bublé, though, isn't it? Just sort of in the off-season, I can imagine him going in a hole and sleeping for the entire time and then knock on the door, Robin, it's time to go again. Up he, up, up he comes. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the only time he's ever been compared to Michael Bublé, isn't it? How much time have you spent with Antonio over the summer break? And of course, what do you think of his move to DS to Cheetah? So have you seen him much over the summer break? Actually, not once. Not once? <gasps> Since New York? No. Trouble in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we were chatting in WhatsApp, obviously, but That's I, more needed I, with me. I never... Does he know WhatsApp yet? Well... No, I'm not on WhatsApp. Uh, uh, there you go. I'm only on WhatsApp. I have like 381 missed text messages. I sent you well done messages. I sent you pictures of Svans. <laughs> like all kinds of things. I've been, I've, he's, I never he's been opened that. me pictures of Svans. Yeah? Yeah, I did well, actually. Yeah, yeah, I, did, did, did. I sent him a picture of two Svans and I was really happy with myself. And what do you think about uh, Tony going to DS to Cheetah? Well, he's been with BMW for how many years now? Like six, seven, yeah. I think. It's, it's, a, it's a new step for his, for his career. So um, yeah, wish him all the best. Do you reckon after like six, yeah, five, six years, you should, like, you, you need a change and... Everybody's different in that uh, case. I mean, I've been with Audi now for four years. I don't feel at the moment to for change, but maybe in two years I will, I, I don't know. Because if the, if the cut-off line is six years, then... <laughs> this is it, this is it. Like, <laughs> um, this is from Nicole to Sam. I think we already have the answer. Ah! And we have some news about Nicole. Yeah, we but do. We have some news about Nicole. Congratulations, Nicole. That's amazing news. Well done. What I missed? Pregnant. Nicole's pregnant. Oh, oh, congratulations. <laughs> I didn't notice. Uh, it's on our WhatsApp group. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, and so Nicole wants to know, what's the most boring thing you've done over the summer? But I think we know. Yeah, I've watched my beard grow. <laughs> <laughs> I've been pushing a lot with the training. I'm actually entering a half marathon for uh, Macmillan Charity, so... Now I can't joke about it. No, um, yeah, so unlucky. <laughs> Steve Bishop, what new races are you most looking forward to? Uh, London. Robin? Say one of the others just so it makes the edit. Paris. Paris, new races. New, oh. new. Do you name another new one. That's, that's Do a better Do you know game. the rest of the Canada? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I, li I live week by week. Uh, you know I, the other two new ones. Yakarta. I think, yeah. yeah. Robin lives in the present tense. Exactly. Yeah. In the here and the now. Exactly. This is from Bois to both. Who? For who? Bois. 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 Like Kim Uraikon and Bois. Bois. Um, okay. If you could learn one ability instantly, what would it be and why? It's quite a good one question. ability? Yeah, so you can just like suddenly play the piano or something like that. Fly a helicopter. Yeah. Dangerous. Yeah, of course. Because then you can do whatever you want. Yeah. You can buy a helicopter, which is mistake number one. <laughs> but, but then, yeah, you can park it in your garden, if it's big enough. Yeah. Oh, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. You get paid too much. Um, I've got dancing down, so I don't need to do dancing. My dancing's spectacular. Football, uh, amazing. So, um... <laughs> You put the whole list down now. No, no, no I'm, I'm trying to think Racing, of things driving, that I'm, that's, quite that's frankly, well, yeah, I could do with some more talent in that, in, okay. that, in that department. 
like, I'd like to win more. <laughs> I'd like to be a good racing driver. What superpower though? Like if oh, like extending it. Fly. No, not invisibility. You put flight. No. Fly. Yeah. Flight. Okay. What would invisibility get you? Uh, do we want to get down this route? Why would you want to be invisible? Oh, here we uh, go. No, I just named one. Oh, so I what's your answer then? I don't know. I like flight as well, but super strength would be cool as well. Do you get super strength? Oh, super strength. That's kind of yeah, what you're yeah. working towards with this whole Hemsworth thing. Well, yeah, well, the, the lumberjack Hemsworth yeah, yeah, sort yeah, yeah, of, yeah. yeah. If a person flies, do they get turbulence? Because I, I hate turbulence. Like, I don't like flying because of turbulence. But if you're I don't, I don't think flying, so. no. you're, does like Superman get turbulence? Why don't you step in a wind tunnel and just try it out? Just jump in the air. Exactly. And let us know. Do some skydiving. Oh, if you guys were to name your new season six cars, what would they be? Sam, that's yours behind us. What would you What would you name your car? Hope. Okay. No, that feels like quite sort of, because I'm hopeful of a good season. Robin? Nap? Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'll call him uh, Swan. You call him Swan? Yeah, Swan. Okay, yes. Swan. <laughs> Swan. From Manny, what is number one on your bucket list? Quite like to um, swim with great whites. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, not free dive. No. In a cage. In a cage. Not really popping anything out. I swim with sharks once. In a cage, obviously. You've done it. Yeah. With great white sharks. Yeah. So you've done Sam's bucket list thing. Well, they they puts like let's say food in, in front of the, the cage and then the shark is coming towards you to try to grab the food and then they put it out and just in front of you he, he turns and every What's time like? he hits with the with the fin he hits the cage is it good it's quite aggressive yeah well uh, they are quite uh, aggressive yeah it's like i don't know how many meters long but two they go through 30,000 teeth in a lifetime fact <laughs> <laughs> what else do you know about shark um, what, is, what do they mainly eat? Just fish? The male ones have two uh, male parts. Really? Yes. Yeah. Called claspers. What, if one doesn't work? Or? Well, no, that both of them are covered in semen. I'm, I'm not, and I'm not, what, I don't already? know why that's, yeah, yeah, they're ready to go. Why do you know that? I watch too much National Geographic. <laughs> <laughs> if you two were to have a sleepover, whose house would you choose and why? Tonio's. <laughs> I've I never yeah. been there before. To his house. I've never been to Antonio's worse. house. So he hasn't spoken to him and he hasn't been to his house. And we always ask him to be on behind the visor and he always refuses. I don't even think you're friends. Hey, uh, what was the question? If yeah, we well, you two were to have a sleepover, oh. whose house would oh. you choose and why? Well, I never went to Sam's house because he never invited me over. Uh, 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 no. Uh, no. But you, I could invite you and you would. I would never know because I'd text you and you wouldn't read it. Yeah, because I <laughs> have WhatsApp. Anyway, <laughs> I reckon at your house. Why? No to room. Fun stuff to do. Chill out. Do uh, you have like a pool table? No. Just it's just a bed yeah, with, exactly with bricks around it. A huge couch. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else. Okay, great. So it's Robin's house then. If you yeah, we, we've, Wait, do, we've done. Yeah, we're going to do. I asked you to come over do, when you were doing spa. It was too far away. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. I was busy. But we're going to do it. See? We are going to do it. So I once said that the phrase "that's an accident" when commentating about the Heidfeld crash at the inaugural Prix was the worst line of your commentary career. Do you still feel that way and why? And how did it come about? Yeah, it's the worst commentary I've ever done. I just went, and that's an accident for Nick Heidfeld. He has gone off the circuit. Heidfeld goes to the inside line and they make contact and they're both off. And that's an accident. It was like a big crash and he went like head first into the barriers before there was halo or anything yeah, like that. We were all worried and that I thought, he was hurt. This is not good and I was a bit panicky. So I sort of panicked and the one thing you're told in like a bat is just like say what you see. So I just said, that's an accident for Nick Heidfeld. He has gone off the circuit. When are you coming back onto social media? Aha, uh -huh. good question. I'm back. Follow, we'll do a link somewhere. I don't really know how that works. I just like giving the editor more to do. Have you got FIFA 20 yet? No, not yet. Huh. I will kick your ass anyway, though. But okay, well, when you do, do. Tell me, and then we'll do Xbox it. or PlayStation? Both. You have both? I have both. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all well, right. Then so I... no excuse. Sam Bird is gone. He's bored of our conversation. Shaving his beard. Shaving his beard. <laughs> <laughs> or oiling it, one of the two. And we'll be back for another episode of Behind the Visor. But this has been Behind the Visor launch special. New car, new suits, same drivers. <laughs> <laughs>